With less than three weeks left for the schools to reopen across the country, parents have been boosted after the National Treasury began the disbursement of the National Government Constituency Development Fund NGCDF in batches to the constituencies. My name is Gitonga Mukunji, Member of Parliament Manyata Constituency. According to Manyata Member of Parliament Gitonga Mukunji, the return of NGCDF is a great win for the most of the less fortunate families. Uh, I think uh, we have received uh, a small amount of uh, NGCDF uh, uh, money. I think uh, I've seen uh, the amount dispersed is around 7 million. Uh, number one, I would say uh, thank you uh, because now we can see hope that uh, money is being released. Gitonga has however poked holes on the fund saying it is not enough to cater for development projects within the schools to facilitate the new education system that requires huge investments infrastructure. But number two, uh, that money is too little to handle what is coming to us in January and February. Number one, we have junior secondary school classes. We need to have every primary school to have a laboratory. And uh, from what the president uh, gave directive on, he said he expects the CDF money to be the money that is going to be used to, to, to do the laboratory work and even renovate the new classrooms for the junior secondary schools. According to Gitonga, most of the students, especially those who are transitioning to junior secondary, are in need of the bursaries to ensure they don't remain at home as others enroll. Also, many students depend on CDA for bursaries. And uh, I feel the real hustlers the, are the people that love education. So this is a, a fund that touches on hustlers directly. And right now with 7 million, we cannot yet be able to even budget for what we require uh, on, uh, on bursaries. Personally, myself, I've given a commitment to the people of Manyata that I'm doing the full amount that is supposed to go to bursaries. I'm doing 35% of the CDF money for bursaries. And that is what I have sat down with my team with uh, on and created uh, how, how I'm going to disburse uh, my CDF to both tertiary students, to secondary students. I'm also doing scholarship for TVETs for the youths that are, are completing uh, Form 4 so that they can be able to learn on these uh, technical courses. So if we don't get this money as quick as possible, we are going to find ourselves in a serious crisis. The challenges in the disbursement of the funds occasioned by the legal battles were leaving the NGCDF committees in difficult situation on budgeting. And it's my hope from the commitment that we got in the National Assembly through the majority leader that we are going to get uh, uh, one, two billion every week. There is a lot of deficit that the Treasury has for us and they should, they should release it with immediate effect so that we can be able to do our duties and so that the people can continue uh, doing, uh, I mean, they continue with schools and doing everything. Right now I'm preparing uh, I, I gave an online platform for tertiary student. I want to report that I have even close to 10,000 uh, students that have already signed for bursaries. And I am going to continue with vetting in the hope that the, 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 the Treasury will release the rest of the money and ensure that we get uh, the money so that we can disperse it to the schools. So I'm hoping that uh, the CS, Juguna, Ndungu can release the funds and ensure that the constituencies run smoothly because that is part of what we promised as the Kenya Kwanzaa government. The move comes a month after the office of the Attorney General Justin Muturi instructed the National Treasury to proceed with the releasing the funds following a legal battle that saw the fund suspended in August 2022.